What is up YouTube? Hike and a half here. Today I will be showing you a new product that I bought um, after watching several YouTube videos and being inspired to sleep under a tarp when I go camping. Um, so I figured I'd give it a shot myself and I ordered a Sill nylon tarp. This is by no means a shout out to the company. Um, I'm obviously not paid or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I bought a Sill nylon tarp and a steak kit with the line locks and I will be showing you how I set it up today. Yeah, uh, this is just basically um, showing you uh, my initial thoughts on the product. Um, this is a 12 foot by 10 foot Sill nylon tarp. Also bought the kit that comes with 12 stakes, 12 line locks, and 100 foot of 1.8 uh, guy line, 1.8 millimeter guy line. The stakes themselves did not come with the guy line attached, so I took five inches of that guy line and just tied square knots to each of them. So five inches makes a good little loop, and then of course I just burnt the, the edges. Uh, so I did that, and then I attached eight of these line locks pretty much in the same fashion to my tarp. So I have pulled this tarp out already. Um, once again, use five inches of this line and attach these to the tarp using the same thing as a square knot. So while we got the scale here and while we're inside, we'll go ahead and weigh up everything and then I'll weigh it as I would carry it. So the tarp itself with those eight guy lines and then let's see, eight times five with 40 inches of this line, the tarp itself, and the case comes in at 17.55 ounces. Uh, for those, that's 497 grams. Um, yep, and then we'll weigh the rest of the kit. These are the 12 stakes, which I don't think I'll ever carry 12 stakes but I will carry all 100 foot of line because that's like a few ounces itself. So with all that, including the stuff sack itself, that comes out to 7.15 ounces or 20, sorry, 202 grams. Um, let me show you how I would actually carry it though. Um, I would carry this stuff sack. I'd probably carry at maximum six, of these, um, could probably get away with four, but we'll carry that. And with this, and we'll go ahead and put all 100 foot, even though I might not need all 100 foot, it'd be good to just have it. All right, and we are looking at, my trail weight would be 22.1 ounces, or 626 grams. So we're gonna take it outside and go seam seal it. That's one thing I don't think I mentioned is that this tarp does not come seam sealed, but it does come with a silicone seam sealer. So I'm gonna go take it out to a park, set it up in an A-frame form and just get the ridge line nice and tight and uh, seam seal it because it's a pretty day outside. So see y'all at the park. I have the tarp set up, ridge line nice and tight. I'm just about to seam seal it. This is what I was talking about when I saw some of the threads. I think it's fine. I'm gonna seam seal it anyway. All right, so I got it seam sealed. It didn't take very long. Now I'm just gonna sit back, hang out with my dog, drink a beer, and watch the sunset. Okay, so we are out of the park again a couple days later after letting the seam sealer dry. I'm laying in my hammock underneath my tarp. And uh, this will be the final portion of my initial reviews. I'm gonna set the camera down. That way I can roll up my hammock and show you just how much room is underneath this tarp. If I roll it up like this or hook it to one end, there's easily room for a couple chairs under here. I mean, it's set up probably four foot wide right now. It is five foot tall. It'd be no problem to let my girlfriend sleep in the hammock 
and have me sleep on the ground. I'm gonna put my dog right here. My backpack's by my feet. So tons of room and with it staked all the way to the ground like this in the winter, it's 40 degrees outside right now. Not cold at all. With the sun coming in, it's blocking all the wind. It's fairly warm. So let's go outside and I'll show you the outside of it. Let me be born again. All right, beautiful day. Born into a beautiful day. All right, so I have the corners staked in, which if I were to seam seal again, I would definitely do that. I would recommend doing that. That way you're not having to reach when it's set up in the A-frame form. That was just a mistake on my part, which caused a pretty inconsistent line. I think it's functional. I think it, I mean, I got all the seams sealed, so I'm not too worried about it, but I did spill a little bit. So you live and you learn. Uh, I think it'll work. It's not gotta be pretty, it's just gotta be functional. The last thought about this is this middle tie out point right here. Well, you'd think it's the middle, right? No, it's six and a half feet from that side five and a half from the other. Don't quite know why. If you do, please leave a comment uh, explaining why you think it should be closer to one end than the other. If you guys like these videos, don't forget to thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I'm a new channel getting started. And uh, yeah, I'm just out here having fun doing it. I do plan on doing a five night review of this product. So we'll see if it stands up to the test. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So it's going to get a good test. It being December 1st right now, I'll be able to put it through some winter tests. All right, y'all have a good one.